Mr. Brown? I have no idea. Okay. I met him once before. The guy next door was before us. John, do you want your headphones to work? Put your fingers on them or smash them. <laughs> yeah. I got some nuts to crack. You won't know it. Oh, it's three o'clock. Let's start the meeting. Oh, hang on a second. Okay. Everybody knows who's here. Apparently, you're logged in and it's part of the Legion. Kevin, could you read us from the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. According to my thing, we got we got built. Let's start with this one. Is there any potential conflict? With the approval of the meeting. Are there any additions or corrections to the uh, meeting from March seventeenth? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the. I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, the meeting, the minutes are approved. Let me see if I can bring board member Adam Long up on the phone. I'm sorry, what? It's uh, this item 1.3 right here, identify potential conflict of interest from the board. Bill, do you have anything you want to say no, to us? No, no, not Bill. Anybody that has a let me just get this real quick. Um, any members have a potential conflict of interest with any of the items on the agenda this evening? No. So now we can read sense. item number three point one. Robert, you have something you want to add onto your porch or something in front of your house? Excuse me one second. Excuse me one second. So we have a variance application by Robert Butcher requesting to build a new eight foot deep covered porch to match the width of the house and stairway from the porch to the front property line at 320 Ontario Avenue. Correct. Um, this was in, in the years ago, two or three years ago, and it was approved, but I ran into some um, legal issues. I got the, that all resolved now so I can move forward with this addition. Anything you want to say about that? Sure, sure. Um, and I believe, is there a neighbor here for this item as well? Okay. So at this point in time, what it looks like is Mr. Butcher has, in essence, submitted the same application that he submitted in um, 2018. Um, the couple of questions that staff has, as looking at this again, is there have been some concerns. Um, there is one neighbor, uh, Pat Kevin, who wrote a letter to the board. They're located at 1000 North 4th Street. That indicates uh, uh, Nate Eastway forward the plans for this house to me. I'm two houses west of the above address. I'm having a hard time understanding the roof line of the proposed porch. If it stays at or above the porch line of 328 Ontario, I have no problem with the variance. If it's below and obstructs my view of the lake, it'll decrease my value as I have a lake view, then I oppose the variance. I've lived here 47 years without an obstruction of my lake view, and can we please clear this up for me? So presently, the applicant has only um, provided kind of uh, a site plan view of the proposal. Um, there's no detail in terms of the construction of the actual porch itself. So it's hard for staff to recommend favorably um, without having any additional detail to what we're approving in terms of an actual structure. Um, I have some pictures that I provided across the street of what that is going to look like and what I want it to look like, the roof. Right. This is, this is the extent. Um, could I get the plans on the TVs, please? 
Um, this is the extent, uh, if you take a look at the TV screens, uh, of the plans that we have. Um, as far as looking at things across the street, there's no detail again, and there's just no way that staff can recommend favorably without seeing any type of detail in terms of what's being proposed um, because this house has the ability to very much, I mean, basically right at the sidewalk, the stairs are gonna start and this deck is gonna come in. So it is gonna be much closer to the street than um, the other neighboring properties adjacent to it. This is the home that we're looking at right here. Yep. And you can see that the stairs would basically start back here and the deck is gonna be coming out, you know, pretty much um, in this area with the stairs right at the property line. Well, the, so. it comes from three, the sidewalk, you have three feet, and then that's where the steps start, and then it's seven feet from there, and then eight feet for the porch. Um, do you know what happened to the files that I, about the pictures that I sent, or that I gave you that are they in the file that they can look at that? Or uh, across the street, I had some pictures also I sent in. Um, yeah, as far as the pictures, that doesn't really matter. What it okay. comes down to is the plans of what you are going to construct at the site. Okay. Um, it's going to be halfway. It's Yeah, it's nothing. It's going to be halfway in between the two windows, the top and bottom. It's going to be halfway there. Right. So, but so, like you said, right, I can, I can give you the plans and sure. I can get the plans to show that then, if that's what you guys like or want. So I think I think the biggest things that the board is looking at this evening, you know, are, you know, this, this is the person that is concerned about their view, probably from uh, the window over in this area. There's uh, a porch that is on the house right next door, but the uh, house is just a little bit behind that porch and this uh, porch that uh, Mr. Butcher's talking about is definitely going to be going, you know, uh, well into that front yard. So, so in order to answer that question, we can't with the plans before us. Um, so I don't know if anyone else has any questions or anything, but at this point in time, it's hard for staff to recommend favorably without that information. No, no, I didn't want. I didn't want that. I think you have more problems with the, like the deck that's up there next door. I, yeah, I don't want that. And I don't know if she, with her sight line with that porch also. I don't know how she can say that it's going to be interfering with her view of, of mine because there's a house right next door to it. So I don't understand that. There's Sir, would you could you could you come up to the podium because no one can hear you without speaking into the microphone? If you could just let us know um, your name and address, and feel free to provide some comment. Sure, uh, my name is William Burton, and I live at 1013 uh, North Fourth Street, uh, around the corner from Mr. Butcher. I don't know Mr. Butcher; we've never met. Um, I think we've waved at each other, perhaps, um, but. Uh, my, my concerns are along the same lines as uh, Pat Kevin. Um, we've lived in our house since, since 20, well, we bought it in late 2015. Um, it was a distressed property. It was in foreclosure. It had been uninhabited for 14 months. And we did a total top to bottom gut rehab on that house. And um, my sight lines are not impacted by this in any way but I am also on the alley and I'm, you know, my concerns are just in general with preserving zoning. And, you know, one of the things that we did on our house was to relocate some windows around the corner that looks down the alley so that we have a lake view down the alley. And I would hate for somebody to change the zoning, you know, on the alley side that would impact my property, my views, and on behalf of neighbors who I haven't spoken to, I'm concerned about, you know, people all the way up the street and even across 4th Street whose views might be changed by this. I just, I just really don't see the point. 
Um, and if their property values are impacted, that's going to impact my property values as well. Um, so uh, I'm just here to stand in, you know, in favor of preserving zoning where, where possible. And in this case, it seems like it's neither going to, you know, improve the neighborhood or improve the tax base of the city. And so it kind of seems like a no brainer to me, but uh, Thank you. Leave, that, leave that to you all. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to make a comment with that. My house, with being renovated, it will improve the base of that area immensely because right now it's it's a gutted place. It's a gutted house, and I'm re remodeling it to um, preserve that area to make it look a lot nicer. So decrease in values, it will not de decrease values of this. The porch or the house is not going to de decrease values. I'm putting money into this house. And this, like I said, the sight lines of, I don't understand that with the house, it's just not, it's not gonna be a double decker one, but what I can do is I can give you drawings, I can come back to the board and then show you what they're gonna look like. Did we have any other questions? I have a question. Ed? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, who's Ed in front of? Yeah, the question, I guess uh, the thing that yeah. I was, you mentioned about the alley, aren't there, I drove through there, I thought there are like garages on the alley side. Oh, and this yeah. property does not have a, I don't know how that would affect the site from the, from the alley side. And then secondly, wasn't there a porch on there from the beginning? Yeah, in the front it was. When the house yeah. was built? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, uh, and the other thing, there is a house on the east side too that would seem to obstruct the view. Currently, but uh, that's the only comment I might have. Sir, you'd have to come up to the mic. Sir, you'd have to come up to the mic, please. Sorry about that. Uh, to be sure, the proposal you're considering is not on the alley side. It, it doesn't affect the alley at all. Um, my point was a more general one, and I don't know whether you can consider such a thing, but you know, I have a lake view in, down the alley from my house. And I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, in, you know, hypothetically, I would hate for somebody to come before you and say, oh, we wanna, you know, come out towards the alley any farther um, and, you know, cut off my lake view. And in the same sense, I'm concerned on, you know, for the sake of my neighbors, and one of those houses is empty, the house immediately to the west of Mr. Butcher at 328, is, is on the market and has been uninhabited for months now. Um, so I don't know if there's anybody to speak on behalf of that property, but you know, I, I mean, there's many properties that would be, that would be affected by this, I, I think. And again, I just, I just stand for maintaining zoning when people, you know, buy a home, they have an expectation that zoning will protect the attributes that uh, you know, led them to purchase that home and, you know, and so forth. And that's my, that's my concern and that's my point. And those values of all those properties, you know, you, you can increase the value of one property, but if you impinge on the value of multiple properties, that's probably going to have a bigger effect on the value of my property, not to mention the city tax base. But, I, you know, I leave that to you all. You're the experts, but... Um, those are my concerns. Thank you. Last time, was there a grievance then? I'm sorry? When we approved this the first time, was there a grievance then? Uh, there was no, as far as what I understand, there was nothing at that point in time. So, so I think what it comes down to is you can see on the drawing what was originally there. I just had a, a question for Mr. Butcher. Um, you know, there's been some uh, code issues. There's the steps haven't been on this building for, you know, since 2018. You know, the it's uh, obviously in a nice neighborhood, and you guys are, you know, are taking a lot of time. What's the difference this time that you're actually going to move forward and proceed with something? 
I went through some legal issues and those legal issues are, are done. Now I can proceed forward with that house. Okay. Before there wasn't, I had to wait until the legal issues for that house were resolved. They're resolved, now I can move forward. Okay, okay. Anybody else have any questions? Uh, when's the next meeting? Um, next meeting is, I don't have a calendar in front of me, May, third week in May. Okay. Um, I just have to keep on asking about photos that I, I brought in or had from last time. Do you know where they are in the files? That's all information that you would need to bring, I, you know. Oh, I thought I, can you explain? I mean, the information that we have is this deck and the application that you submitted last time. Um, and again, none of that, the only pictures that are in there show the original uh, stairway. Okay. Um, there's some Google Earth pictures that we had from the last time, um, but y there are. I thought, yeah, I thought, I had the assumption that uh, that was gonna be able to be presented on the screen. And Can you show the screen, please? I mean, these are some of the pictures that were okay. in from last time. And the only thing that we added that was different, I guess, was from last time was your application and this that shows a treated wood porch, which obviously we wouldn't approve. Okay, um, um, do you know where those pictures are that I gave? You remember a couple days ago I sent, I said, here's some pictures, and you said that you were going to put them in, and I said, okay, do you need my name? And you said, no, I know it already. So. That was the picture right there was the one oh, just that deck. Okay, I sent another one via email of pictures across the street, that's all. I mean, the, it, it's, it's, yeah, don't, as far as the pictures across the street, I mean, yeah. what it comes down to is that gives us a general idea, but we need something that shows, you know, here's, okay. here's what's across the street. Um, yeah, you know, exactly. Right that's there. the picture that I took. That's what it's, the porch. That's what the line is for that um, the roof line. It's not going to be a double decker or anything like that. I kind of wanted to match the the the, um, the neighborhood so it would blend in. You know, and those houses on the other side of the street, you can see that several of them are close to the property line. Right. This side, you know, the distances are much further than. Um, the other side of the street. Here's the home we're talking about. Here are the neighbors. You can see these are closer to the street over here where he's showing the deck. So this is gonna come out basically, you know, right at the property line um, with the steps. And then shortly thereafter, that eight foot wide um, uh, porch. Okay, yeah, like I, what I said, I can, I can uh, get some more dimensions and some drawings um, yeah, I think I, I think the the critical thing is is going to be to match that um, drawing that you show for your um, the overhead view. Yeah. Um, bear with me one second here. Where is that? This view because it shows a dormer. It shows different roofs. We don't know what the posts are. Okay. Um, you know, so all of that Im information is important okay. to show how the deck and the porch and the steps are going to tie into your house okay. so that it's an attractive addition because if it is just treated wood, there's no way the board's going to approve that. Yeah. Now, if it's tied into the house and the elements and things like that, I think you have a much stronger opportunity to get it approved. Okay, yeah, I just came in for what I had from last time that I was approved, so that's what I came in with, but yeah, I can get some more stuff. Probably be a good idea to recommend tabling it then at this point. Yep, I'll be able to get all that stuff. You're coming back? Oh, oh, Bob? Yep, I'll come back. Oh. Bill? Uh, is, there, is there a reason, uh, you know, within the um, four corners of the zoning regulations? why the setback is different on one side of the street versus the other side of the street. 
or you're, is that you're just... constructed and when the homes are built your home was probably early 1900s compared to today and 1903 so from, I'm sorry mine was 1903 yeah I know so, past so was, I, think, I would imagine the zoning back in 1903 was significantly different than it is today I see and so so from that perspective um, you know you can see that your home all the homes you know, today's code requires homes to be 25 foot set back. None of these homes meet that requirement. So Understood. in an essence, what you're dealing with is exactly what Mr. Butcher is proposing is to come to the Board of Appeals making a request to see, hey, will I be able to vary any more than what we are all already doing in this neighborhood? So, so there's not a real clear cut answer to your question other than to say, the zoning was much different in 1903 and where houses could build than compared to 2021. I see, thank you. And I, I would just make one other point in, in case it's relevant, um, and that is that uh, the, the, the sight lines to the lake are not the, si are not the same on both sides of the street because the, on the south side of the street, you have a more open view looking slightly towards the north, you know, out towards Deland Beach, whereas on the north side of the street, you're really only looking at the pier and Deland Park, you know, in the grassy area, unless you can see right down the line of those homes. So the, the sight line to actually see the lake, if you're talking about a lake view, is, is not necessarily the same on both sides of the street. My, minor point, but I, I just thought I'd put that out. You'll have to put a ladder up to your roof and you can stand on your roof and look out at the lake if that's what the guy is interested in while looking at it. There's a motion to table, can we get a second? So you're coming back, Bob, next sure, meeting? Sure, I'll come back. Okay, Don, wonderful. Don, we have a motion to table, can we ask for a mo second? Is there a motion that uh, we do not approve this at this time? Just we have to come back with uh, further information. The motion was made by Keeley and seconded by Don. We need a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? See you next time, Bob. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you, are you Brian? Just out of curiosity, what in the world hit the, where your peak of your garage is, what, did you run into that with a truck or something? No, it's got a bat. It's got a basketball hoop that they put up on there. And so all the water collects and pools and all of the, all of the structure underneath in the front is all rotted out. And it just has deteriorated over time. And now the wind is actually, it's actually worse now because of all the rain and the wind. So nothing hit it. Are you planning on tearing that garage down? Is that what you had in mind? That's what I'm here for. Okay. All right, let's see here. We got a variance application by Brian and Sarah Doherty requesting to build a garage 36 by 32 with an additional 20 by two bump out. Total is uh, 1,192 square feet. The garage will be located 26 feet from the front property line at 333 North 6th Street. The variances are the additional, the maximum garage size is 1,000 square feet, so it's the additional one, uh, 192 square feet that we're discussing, and the minimum setback in the SR3 zone is 30 feet, and the applicant's requesting to have a 26-foot um, uh, setback. For your information, the house, if you can take a look at the survey, is 25 feet from the front property right line right now. So, Mr. Doherty, if you'd like to explain what you're after. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the time. Thanks for having me here. Um, yeah, my, I guess my wife and I have been doing houses for the past 19 years. This will be our fourth house that we've bought and said we're gonna we're gonna renovate it. So we've had a lot of experience with with to be honest how to make a house better. And we bought this house specifically because of the potential for it and the location of it and the potential to increase the value. The carport that is there, it's kind of cool. Um, probably was really cool back in the 70s, but it is rotted out and it's fallen apart and it needs to be, it needs to come down. Um, as we were looking into this, my wife, wanted, my wife and I wanted to keep it to the, the house, modern, clean, kind of low impact. 
um, but we were convinced by my father-in-law that given our location and that it, the right thing to do would be to put a three-car garage in the house. I didn't want a three-car garage, but I've been convinced otherwise that it's probably the right thing to do for the house. And the amount of, currently there's about 320 square feet of storage. To put about the smallest three-car garage you can, we're gonna have to sacrifice on the storage, which to be honest, we could use a little more than we have. So as we were developing and designing it, we found about the 1,000 square foot and realized that we had to come here and have a conversation to find out. I think what it comes down to is if we can't go larger than the 1,000 square feet, we're gonna have to make a decision between having less storage than we might need or want or putting a two-car garage in a house that probably long-term would be better served with a three-car garage. And um, yeah, I guess I'll, I, I put a lot of the information in here and I guess I'd love to hear your thoughts or questions. And we didn't realize until we got into the process that about, so the right of way on our street is 40 feet from center. So the first 25 feet is owned by the city. And then like he said, our house is exactly 25 feet from there. The current carport as it sits is 31 feet from that lot line. So it's already encroaching on the 35. So, and the hope is to build something large enough that we can have a three car garage where I think it, a house that probably should have one long term and build enough storage in there so we can have kayaks and paddle boards and bikes and stuff like that. Are you owner occupying this property? Yes, yes, we've been there for three years. We had your neighbor here about a year ago when he put all that cement in and he was coming up from Chicago. Did yeah. he ever move in next door? He wanted to build that little. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I have their, uh, I actually have, I have their, sur I have their survey with me too in case we need it. So yeah, the graces. Would you like to see the, um, uh, the existing garage and get a street view to see what that is? <clears throat> So here, um, if you wouldn't mind getting the screen, please. Um, this is just a copy or the where the home is right now. This is what we're taking a look at. Here is the carport they're talking about demolishing. This property next door, if many may remember, was approved for a variance to do a little larger sh um, shed uh, kind of uh, structure. Yeah, maybe while I'm getting this, maybe you could talk a little bit about you're matching the um, uh, uh, garage structure with kind of the materials and look yeah. of the house so the board can understand that. No, it's not attached. It's a, we have a 1950s ranch. It's got, pro it's probably cedar, I think, but, but real wood siding, um, a hip roof. We just did a big project on it. You, I, my pictures are kind of small, but... Um, we just did a big big project to modernize it. We painted everything. We put some new siding on it to modernize it. We did a lot of really neat things with it. We're gonna match that. We're gonna put real wood siding on it. We're gonna get a, probably spend more on a garage door than I ever thought you could, but to have a nice wood slat, not real wood, but um, wood slat looking modern look to it. So it'll match the house. We're gonna be as narrow as we can be to have a three car garage and as low as we can be, and the, the size of it is truly the depth. So even if you, you guys say today that we're not going, you're not gonna allow me to do this, the day that I do build a garage, it's gonna look the same from the front. It's not gonna be any bigger. It's just the depth that we're looking to get. Um, could we get the screen again, please? So this is uh, the garage we're talking about. And Mr. Doherty, you can speak to the effect that the house Maybe you could talk about a little bit of your color and what you've done to the house already. And one of the reasons why you're moving to the garage because it looked like there was a significant amount of exterior remodeling that's taken place there. Yeah, do you mind if I, can I bring these up to you to look at? Sure. Okay. We added horizontal Ipe wood siding, which modernizes it. We put some kind of cool numbers up there on the house. But the bigger part is that if you go, but can you go back to that picture of the this the, the front picture? Okay. No, the one that you had, not the one that I had. It was an old picture. That's yep. what I want to point out. Give me one second. So you see the big, all the asphalt there? Like the entire house from the house to the carport was asphalt. 
everything from where that truck is over now is, gra is grass and landscaped. And in between the house now is professionally landscaped and I built a, a deck off the back. So we're, we're basically got rid of the parking lot to, you know, give, a, give ourselves a... Yeah, yes. So it'll come out a little bit further forward and it'll go a few feet out to the left. Yeah, Other than that, it's pretty much the same footprint. Why would you make it attached? Uh, it's 27 feet away from the house. Um, I don't know, it never in... Do you want to build a connector between the house and that's where they made it right where they live? Never occurred to us because the yeah, footprint was already there. there. Yes, five feet. Or, or go five yeah. feet on it? Yeah. Really yeah, there, uh, if you can take a look at the, the survey, it is showing uh, where the existing house is over here. And then this is the proposed uh, garage structure. So you can see that it's detached onto that north side. So uh, yeah, I guess I would have loved. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I, I guess I would have. I would have loved to have a t an attached garage, but my understanding was attaching a garage is a lot more challenging than rebuilding an existing structure in the same place. So I never explored that option, um, and all our plans went forward with making that space between the garage and the house our outdoor space. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Jeff, have you been over there to look at? Yes, I have. You got anything you want to say? Okay. Didn't he put up a little building in the back here on that corner? He disappeared just to the uh, south northeast of your garage. The you mean the Grace's one that you guys approved last year? Is that what you mean? I'm talking about the guy from Chicago. He put that. He wanted to put. Yes. Up. Yeah. 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 I love it. It's great. Uh, I second it. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Beautiful. Motion carries. You're good. Thank you so much. All right. The grade beam? Yeah, they put a grade beam built in there so that they have to do more to that. Yeah, you put it. Yeah. So that was, I had talked to guys and they thought, because to me, it was a piece of stuff that lived, a piece of the back side that lived, so I thought it was cool. But Sounds good. Yeah, sure. yeah, right? Maybe we'll yeah. see you again. You might come back. Yeah, again. yeah, right? <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're welcome. I could address item 3.3 .3 if you want real quick. Um, item 3.3 .3 has been withdrawn at this point in time, so we don't have to worry about that one. And then just a heads up for everyone, um, Rob Eckerd had put in his um, resignation, so he will no longer be joining us. So we'll probably have someone new um, in the future. So appreciated uh, Rob's help over the years. So. If you're listening, Rob, thank you for helping out over that time period. We'd appreciate it. That's it. Is there anything else we brought to the meeting? Anybody else got any business? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thanks right. for coming. Thanks, everybody. I don't know if we're going to be here next time or not with this mirror going on. I would imagine so. All right.